Hi my dear friends and this is Taz from Taslima Maya Art. Welcome to my channel of mixed media and fluid art creations. It's great to have you here. If you're new, please do check out my other videos as most of them are tutorials and step-by-step -step for beginners. And don't forget to hit those like, share and subscribe buttons and do leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. So on the Fluid Art Express this week, we have three amazing guests with us. They are the talented Laurie from Laurie Houston Art, who is up after me, so please stay on the Express. And we also have Nathan from the Fine Art of Distraction doing his magic. And finally, the amazing Angie from Creative Vibrations. So stay on the Express and let's get down to the paint table. Hi there, for the neon challenge this week, I'm going to be doing my very first ever open cup neon pour. To be showing you the canvas that I'm working on today. Here's my canvas and this is a box canvas. Um, and it's 20 by 20 centimeters or 7.9 by 7.9 inches and it's a deep edged canvas as you can see gallery wrapped and we're going to be working on this one today so let's get started okay so here are my colors and i'm going to be using a number of different fluorescent colors mixed in and some of them are custom colors so i'm going to pop them up on the screen for you now and i'm using color arts vivid intense in many of these colors and you can see the beauty and intensity of those colours. Okay, there's that one. And then I will show you this one. Very, very fluid. Um, barely leaves a trace, really. Maybe a one second trace, if that. And that one. And then we go on to the green. And here I've got some pearl white with titanium white. And then finally my orange. And this is the orange one. And that's an iridescent orange from Pebio. And for my base colour I'm going to be using this black, which is lamp black from Amsterdam, mixed in with my pouring medium, which is 6040 craft glue with um, water. Okay. And let's pop that down there. And just to quickly show you some of the Vivid Intense bottles. I haven't used all of these colours, but I've used many of them. I'll put them down in the description box. Um, we've got Red Violet, Vivid Intense, and I add these. Sometimes I mix them up with my pouring medium on their own. Would they be perfectly um, good to do that? Or I simply add them to another colour, usually a tube colour, to give it that extra kick and that intensity that sometimes um, makes it really good. So that's fluorescent green. That's periwinkle, and this pink, which is one I used, was fluorescent pink, and then there was fluorescent red. So these are all the beautiful colours from Colour Art, Vivid Intense. And I am a Colour Art affiliate, so you can get 20% off your entire order if you shop with Colour Art on their website at www.colorart.com. So just put in my um, discount code, which is Taslima, all lowercase, Taslima, T-A-S-L-I-M-A-523. So I'm going to be doing my first ever open cup pour. Okay, and for that I will be using a cookie cutter upside down to do that. I'm using a rather small canvas because it is my first go and I want to see how I fare. So I'm going to give it a go on a smaller canvas, this um, 20 by 20 centimeter canvas and see how I fare with this. So what I'm going to start off with is just painting the edges black with a brush and I'll be right back. Okay, we're ready to get started. So I'm going to do so. I painted the edges of my canvas and the sides as well. And I'm going to use this little cookie cutter, which is slightly smaller. It's a floral shape one. And um, I'm going to start by pouring my base paint in the middle. I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to spread it out. I've got a little palette knife here, I'm going to take it to the edge. Okay, so I'm going to start with a little bit of a, more of a puddle in the, in the middle here.
Okay, I think that's enough. I'm going to get my cookie cutter. I'll put it right in the middle. I'll put a little bit of paint around the edge. Okay, and I'm going to start with my colours now. Okay, so let me start with, I think I will start with this blue. And I've never done this technique before in my life, so this is the first for me. I just hope it works out okay. Um, so wish me luck. I'm going to put some of this beautiful colour. paint on the canvas. I'm going to let it trickle off. He's making some beautiful puddles underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm going to get my torch in a second and pop some bubbles. Should we do that in a minute while we give it a chance to... Look at that. Spectacular. Is that, is that neon enough for you, Darren? Look at the sounds. So pretty. I really like how that green didn't have any cells in it, but all the other colours have got beautiful sounds. There we go. I'm really, really happy with this one so far. Look at that. It's spectacular. Well, it's my first open cup, so it's interesting. I would normally spin it now, but I think I might just 
tilt it a little bit. I want to pick it up and I'm going to tilt it around and see how that works. I'm not too precious about it, I'm sim simply learning about this technique. We're going to go this way a bit. And then this way. I'm going to like tilt off the edge this way. Try and get some of that paint off. I mean, that was a lot of paint. And then we'll go back a little bit. And we'll tilt a bit off that way. I'm okay losing that bottom right hand corner. I'm happy to lose that, but I don't want to distort the sides too much. I'm probably over tilting it for your liking, but I just want to see how far this paint will go. And we can always do it again. give this another go I think for the day. I'm just gonna tilt off quite a bit there. Because I don't know I don't like what's happened to the composition after I tilted too much of that paint off so um, we learn from our errors and I had way too much paint on this one. So let's do that again. Okay so we're gonna give it another go second time round. Let's hope this one works. And let's do that all over again. So this time I'm gonna start off I think with white. I'll pull that in to begin with. cells. Lots of cells, much prettier, and I'm not going to lose these ones. The reason I'm not going to lose these ones is because I don't need to tilt all that paint off. So it looks a lot better, doesn't it? It's really pretty. You can see some of the darker cells here and the base paint coming through, but they're really pretty. I mean, these cells in the middle have got a bit of um, each colour in this, a bit of blue, yellow, pink. That one's got the green and the blue and the pink as well. So that's looking a lot better. What I'm probably going to do is wait for this to settle, see if there's any more cells coming up and show you a flyover and then show you the dry results next week because I'm running out of time. So, um... This is my first full print cup for using neons. I hope you liked it and I'll show you a close up in a second.
And here's some other things I did while I was waiting and playing around with the paints. I did a single palette knife swipe, a multi palette knife swipe, and a few other things you'll see in a minute. And this one was with using a cell activator, um, Australian Floatrol and Amsterdam Titanium White Paint. It's roughly a 3 to 1 ratio. And here I'm just playing around a little bit more. And I think part of it is experimentation, just having some fun and seeing what happens. So these are the outcomes of me playing around really. Hope you like them. But don't worry, I will go back to the open cup pour again as my final piece. So you'll see that as the third piece I do and it's really, really nice. So here's the piece with all the cells. You can see so many different luminous uh, neon colours in this. It's crazy. Look at those cells. And there's three to four different colours in some of those. It's just stunning and different and unusual. What do you think of it? It's very luminous, isn't it? You can see almost all the colours in this piece, which is why I like it the most. I think it was my favourite beautiful let me know which one of the three was your favorite in the comments below it'd be great to know i think this one was definitely definitely my favorite particularly with the palette knife swipes in there as well which is what i do here So that's it my friends, I used a palette knife with some cell activator on it to add a little bit of interest to this piece. It is really quite unusually beautiful I think with all those colours and the webbing. I hope you like it, that's it from me this week. Up next is the wonderful Laurie from Laurie Houston Art, so please stay with us on the Express to see all of our wonderful guests this week and join us in the live chat if you're able to or at least watch and leave a comment for us to let us know what you think thank you so much for watching we really appreciate it and i'll speak to you very soon take care of yourselves <laughs>